Hello, snowboarders of the internet. I'm your host, Avery Lefebvre, and in this video, we're gonna be reviewing the Endeavor Pioneer. This board features Endeavor's multi-camber, which is just cam rocker. So you got camber underfoot, then rocker in the tip and the tail. This is gonna give you all the load pop, snap and drive of camber underfoot, but that rocker in the tip and the tail, it's gonna give you ease of entry in and out of turns, as well as help with powder float. This board's available at 154, 155 wide, 156, 157 wide, 158, and 159 wide. I rode this board at Copper Mountain on a day that was blue and gray skies, low to moderate winds. You had grapple, snow falling at times, chop, chunder, ice, perfect hero, corduroy. Then I rode it with my Rome Black Label bindings and my K2 Thraxxus boots. This is your standard run of the mill, middle of the road, all mountain freestyle flex. Softer tips, flex point right where the camber meets them, then stiffer through the middle with the midsection just being a hair stiffer than what it is underfoot. The torsional flex is noticeable, but it's got really good rebound. And this board is surprisingly stable. You get a little bit of chatter at high speeds that resonates slightly underfoot, but not enough to worry about. And when you get into really rutted out terrain, unless you hit something, that's super rock hard, you're not feeling it. And even when you do hit something that's rock hard, it's not going to buck you. This board has a really mellow and easy to engage pop on it. And when you load up that camber section, roll back on the tail, you get solid spring. Like there's actually real solid pop to this board. It's almost skate-like with how you engage it. So send it off anything that is in front of you. Now, I didn't really hit anything that would be considered a big enough jump for this, but I did hit some kind of jumps at Copper, and it was totally at home getting in the air. Small to medium is pretty much where you want to keep it. I think anything over 30, 35 feet is probably going to be a little too big for it, but it loads up well, it pops off the lip with ease, and it sets down just fine. So that flex point that I talked about right where the camber meets the rocker, is ideal for locking in. It takes very minimal effort to press into this board. And when you do, it holds until you wanna engage it and snap out. So all you do is give it a little flick of the ankle and boom, you're gonna be able to pop out of whatever butter variation you're doing. This thing will hold it though for as long as you want. And when it comes to jibbing, it's the same thing. It locks into nose and tail presses and stays locked in. You don't have to worry about it. And then when you hit the end of the feature, you're able to pop out. When you're going sideways on this board with the midsection being a little bit stiffer, it still cradles around it. It just takes a little more effort. So don't expect it to really clap right around the feature. It's gonna more or less balance and then have some slight give to it. The nice thing about carving with this board is that it steers right underfoot. That just really lets you over exaggerate your ankle movements and swoop in and out of carves with very minimal effort. Now, when you wanna drive it, you can push your knee into the center of the board and push off the tail and get it to slingshot out of the turns and you'll be able to lay it over. Short, tight, quick carves, medium, mellow carves, long, hard, drawn out carves, they're all gonna work for you. And when you're on edge, this board just feels locked in and secure. This is your standard run of the mill directional twin all mountain freestyle board. And you can just grab it, go and ride everything in front of you and not have to worry about it. It's a board that just feels consistent underfoot. It's not mind blowing, but it's also not holding you back by any stretch of the imagination either. It's a good board for what it is. Comparable boards, the Jones Mountain Twin, the Capita Mercury, the Ride Shadow Band. Binding recommendations, the Rome Katana, the Union Force, the Ride C8. This has been my review of the Endeavor Pioneer. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Do you own one? Are you going to buy one? Leave me a comment down below. Let's have a conversation about this snowboard. If you're new here, remember to subscribe, click the bell, get those notifications. That way you're not missing any of the videos we got coming out for all you snowboarders of the internet. And if you really like what we're doing over here and you want to support us further, swing on over to Angry Snowboarder VIP and become a member. Sure, I could tell you more here, but I got a video over there that explains it so much better. As always, I've been your host, Avery Lefebvre, and I'll see you in another video. Thank mm -hmm. you.